Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my painting a small RC body for the first time. Now, I have painting experience, big stuff, small stuff, but never an RC body where you have to paint from the inside and the colors go on in reverse. We want our dark colors down first. The first thing you do is watch every single video on YouTube. I swear, each one of those videos had something important in them. Number two, don't be an idiot and think because you're seeing it on YouTube that you're going to produce the same results. The liquid mask that's painted or sprayed looks like the way to go. That is for experienced people only because you pretty much have to have hand control on the surgical level trying to cut that stuff out, whether you draw it on there on the outside or not. Be careful with that one. Masking it is probably gonna be your safest bet for beginners and you gotta be super careful. Look how small this car is. It is very, very difficult for me to get my hands in there especially using a giant razor blade, but that's what I did. Next thing is having a plan. Take a picture, go on some kind of editor, paint and paint it like you want it to look and experiment with your design. Let's look at some photos I did of mine before this. So this is the fat bodies attack with the girt wing. We're just doing the girt wing black. And you can see here how I have that first black paint that's gonna go on there. Now this model is super difficult to get all down in there with the masking tape. So our design was also limited with what we have. And I hope that makes sense because trying to get in here masking stuff is probably going to be a bit difficult so you need to wash the body before you start masking but if you forgot just get you some alcohol and a little rag and just clean it off the best you can before you paint so i was actually so fed up at first i couldn't do any of this masking i was getting frustrated and i thought i was going to get some paint pens and come in here and draw all the black freehand just super careful and that would save so much time but the truth is with the paint pens it kind of comes out thin we hold that up to a light you can actually see through it so then you have to go back twice and give it a second coat that's what happened with the paint pen with masking it just has so much paint at one time and you get that bleed through that is what you do not want on this project at all let see this is the painted side and on the other side it really doesn't look that bad but if you get close you see our lines are real goofy and the worst case scenario is actually seeing holes through the two colors. So whenever we do our backer colors, it may throw all that off. So paint pen is not the best idea for freehanding your graphics on there. But what we are gonna use this paint pen for is after we spray this, we're gonna pull the masking completely off and you can see how these lines didn't come out perfectly straight. It is nearly impossible to get all those lines the right thickness. So after we spray it, we're gonna come back in here with this paint pen and we're just gonna dab any uneven places you can see right there if we need to. We may not even have to do it. This video, unlike others, I'm gonna show you every flaw and every mistake that we make. We don't have to get it perfect right up close, but it needs to look perfect from about three feet away. Let's get three feet away. One, two, three feet away. It needs to pretty much pass the test. Let's go out there and lightly lightly spray that first coat of black. So you use whatever paint you want. We're using a flat black. It really doesn't matter because once we pull that protective layer off, it's gonna be gloss no matter what. Super duper light coats, far away. Do not spray this thing heavy or you will get bleed through and you will destroy your paint job. That's the first coat super duper light we're gonna do three like that actually not looking that bad at all so i've seen the guys using a heat gun i'm just gonna let it naturally flash off three light coats we'll look at it when it's done so we got about three or four light coats and all the black lines are actually looking pretty good so we didn't really talk about the masking because i was trying to figure out how to do it but i mainly used these two now you want to buy new masking tape if you can this is quarter inch and I use this clearly to get around the windows and get those lines looking real sharp. This body did not come with window masks, so I had to take this fat masking tape, put it in there, and cut it out by hand. That's actually not that hard. So what's difficult is getting your graphics symmetrical. You're going to have to cut a template out, measure everything out, 
And the way this one was, we kind of press it right there and then it gives us that line and then we just reverse it to this side. So we have a pretty close graphic on both sides. So now we need to cut and remove where the red is gonna be. So we need to actually bring this line out about right here. Not too hard to draw, very, very hard to cut. And that's why you need to plan your graphics out real good because starting off with flames and trying to cut that out on masking tape is probably gonna be super difficult for your first paint job. So that's what we need to cut out, but we painted the inside black and we really can't see anything. So it only took me a few minutes to do this one side. I just slowly took the razor blade and cut that out, take your time. So now we're gonna be removing back here for the red. So we've got some little jagged edges on the masking. Take your time, get in there and clean that up. Okay, so this kind of makes sense how we're doing this. Red is our next color, so we're leaving the mask on for the white. So we got the masking removed and you see what we're left with. Now you could take some alcohol and wipe away your Sharpie lines if you really want to test your masking job and see if you got everything the right thickness. Walk down the line, everything's looking good. See right there we got a little, well that's a cut, but right there we have a little piece of masking tape we need to clean up. So since we've been touching all over it, it would be wise to wipe this down with alcohol real lightly. And the point of this is making sure that paint is gonna stick to the plastic. If there's any oil or grease on there, the paint will stick to the oil and grease. We're gonna be using Apple Red, super duper light coat. Oh, God dang it, wow. So we're gonna go ahead and put three light coats, see how it's turning out. So we got about three or four coats of red. Everything's looking good. Now it's gonna be silver up here in the front and that stripe is gonna be white. So we might as well go ahead and pull this off and do the white stripe next. So we got something weird going on right there. Is it on the outside or the inside? Let's check it out. Okay, it was on the outside. So the masking tape lifted off right there. See that red peeking through? So we got our first little mistake right there. We're gonna get a Q-tip. Hopefully that'll come off. Heck, no, it don't come off. So just do what you gotta do to get that off. However, so I got it fixed a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and let it pass. We'll see how it comes out. So the white's going down just right. That's a sticker on it. Just three light coats like that. All right, we got three coats on it. Let that dry. So on the girt wing, the protective film is on the bottom, the wrong side. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray this one black from the outside. Okay, so I just wiped it down with the alcohol and a rag. And we're just using flat black, three light coats. Well, we can go ahead and put a thick coat on this one. It doesn't really matter. So we just want a little bit thicker than light coats. Just don't put too much and run it. So we got three coats of white on there. We're gonna remove the rest of the masking tape except for the window masks because those are gonna be clear. So this is what we're using for the silver. It's metallic aluminum color. We're gonna go ahead and put three light coats. Dang, that has really good coverage, wow. All right, so as we get the three coats on there, we'll eventually coat the whole thing in silver. So I bought a whole bunch of these WL toys. This is the car we're using the fat body on. So we got plenty of videos coming on all these RC cars. So what I was going for was a tribute to the original body. That's why we kept the colors and hopefully it all works out. So this has been drying for 24 hours. It still has a protective film on it. But before we peel it, we need to go ahead and get it cut out. I am just gonna place this right over this one. Be careful, you can knock your paint off. Do it super gently. So we're just gonna go ahead and mark it like that to start. Okay, we're gonna see if we need to cut those little rabbit teeth out or not. You can always mark the hole. 
So we got our lines to cut on and we're just gonna use a Dremel. You're gonna have to play with different things and figure out what works for you. So we're just getting close to the edge, cutting it with any type of scissors. Okay, in some situations you can try maybe to score it a bunch of times and then try to snap it, but it can be super freaking dangerous trying to make a clean cut with a razor blade. I mean, it kind of works, but it's just too easy to slip and screw everything up. So let's talk about something that just happened right now. So the thickness of the body is not gonna be the same everywhere. So I was using a little bit of pressure right here. And then when I got right here, the thing just goes and just knocked it right off. So just be aware of stuff like that. You don't wanna screw your body up. So we got it cut out. Let's do a test fit on there. A little more fine tuning, but let's get these window masks off and the clear film and see how screwed up this thing came out. Glue wants to stay behind, that's not good. This is the one where it was already lifted up. So for that little corner that we oversprayed, we're just gonna carefully try to go in there and scratch it off if we can, if it bothers us that much. It's really the only thing that we can do here. Okay, so I knocked some paint off when I was trimming this, but that's because this fell apart and I had no idea that it was doing it. So be careful. So I did do the white lines a little bit fatter than I was supposed to. Let's go ahead and get this film off. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna look that freaking nice. Dang. What the frick? Dang, it looks good. I like it a lot. So the sticker's gonna go right there. This is gonna make it look a little bit better. So I'm not sure about the placement. If it should've went up there, maybe. That's fine, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so I do like this one better than the factory body. Now remember, we are one foot away from this thing right now. Let me get that girt wing. Okay, so I just flat black the girt wing with the paint you see me use. They had the film on the wrong side of it. Now this one has to be trimmed too. You can see the lines. I'm not gonna trim it right now because I need this to dry really good. I just sprayed it. Okay, so the imperfections were mainly the stripes. I made the white one a little too fat. They're a little inconsistent. Not a big deal for me. Honestly, I don't care. We have a little bit of bleed through around the windows, leaving that, not screwing with that anyway. See how the black is not perfect. Leaving it, don't care. We scratch that back. We can wipe it down if it bothers us. I'm just gonna leave it, don't care. So if you are just completely bothered by something on your car, get you a paint pen or a Sharpie. Let's look at that right there. That is at the top of the car. And we are just going to, we're just trying to make it not look so bad. And we did, we made it look better. Same thing right here. It's kind of too thin right here. Let's fatten that line up just a little bit. Look at that. We made it look better. Right there, look. See how it's kind of missing? Oh my goodness, we just fixed it. All right, so this one right here, that black is kind of screwed up right here. Made it look a lot better. Okay, so right there we got some red bleed through. Let's just try to make this look a little bit better. And we did, it looks a little better. Anyway, don't go too crazy doing that, but that's just if you see something and it just absolutely bothers you. You can't take your eyes off of it. So one foot, two feet, three feet away. Now we still got some stuff we need to clean up and we still have to fit the body. Those clear windows is such a good idea than just doing them all black. If you're gonna get the attack body, get the girt wing. I paid $35 for all of this. A guy named Warren RC on eBay has it. You know, this is some vinyl flexible tape for flames and graphics. The problem with this stuff is it kept leaving a glue residue behind and that's why I couldn't use it. This right here is not as flexible. So I just had to put this down everywhere, draw it and cut it out the best I could. That's how come it came out a little bit screwed up. This car actually needs something up here on the front. So I'm gonna be figuring out a way to put something here on the front. Looks like we could take the factory spoiler 
you can buy these for like two or three dollars and cut it out to make that look a little bit better so for my first rc body it looks okay i'm gonna say it's probably about a six or a seven out of ten the stripes were the only things that kind of came out screwed up a little bit but from three feet away right here totally passing the test if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching